Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be playing Athenium Mystic Library. We're going to be showing you how to play and a full playthrough of the game. This is a very easy game to learn, um, fairly quick to play, and we really enjoyed it. Um, I know we don't have Quentin in the video, but he would have really enjoyed this game as well. He's in school right now, so his time's a little limited. Um, so we uh, just decided to go ahead and play it, just the two of us. But this will be an excellent family game. It's very easy to pick up. So basically, what you're trying to do is these, these little library carts with different um, colors of books. And the colors um, represent the theme of the book. So the, and you can just, you don't have to remember, remember this. I'm just uh, letting you know the, the terminology. So the purple is folklore fan fiction, green is beastly textbooks, the pink is paranormal publications, the aqua blue or aqua green is biographies and memoirs, and the brown is rare manuscripts. So the, the main um, significance of the colors is on your player board, on the very upper right corner, you just choose your either your favorite color or your favorite theme. I chose pink, he chose chose green for beastly and mine was paranormal. If you happen to, um, these are your shelves and you also will be obtaining hopefully the side shelves. You can have a max of two. Um, and you can't really see it on the video, but there's little lines to indicate how many books fill that shelf. Um, but you can also kind of tell when you put the books in like for instance, this one is four books, two on top, four on the bottom, and there's uh, certain rules. You can not place a book in the middle of the bookshelf because there's no support. It has to be or has to be supported by a wall or another book. And then as far as putting them on the upper shelf, if there's no shelf underneath, you can see the brown shelf. If it's open. You have to have a book underneath to place a book on top there. And there's uh, opportunities where you can reshelve books, which means you're just moving them from one location, one shelf to another. Um, I wouldn't be able to take this one because there's nothing supporting that top book. I would have to take the top book first, then I could take that one. Um, so there's, that's the main rules. Um, and then of course on your when you're placing the books, you're trying to fill the shelves, the points here in the circles, that is the points you get for a full bookshelf. So for this shelf, top and bottom being full, you would get six points. And these are your extra shelves that you have to earn through um, bonus cards or through um, your you're playing study cards that you'll be playing, you can get them that way. There's several ways to get these extra shelves. So this is your main shelf that you start the game with. And these little things in the middle are spiders. Basically, when you fill a shelf, you get to trade in the spider for your choice of bonus item. It could be a magic wand, a book of your choice, uh, a bonus token, um, or a shelf, I believe. Is that right? I can't remember if the shelf was one of the options. Let me make sure. So, the spiders. Drop it. Yep, side shelf, book of any color, bonus token, or magic wand. So, pretty much that's all the items you can obtain. Is you can obtain any of those items. You can only trade in a spider once for each shelf compartment. So, say you empty out the shelf when you're shelving. And you fill it again, you're not going to put another spider there. It only goes in the very beginning of the game. And then when you obtain a side shelf, you also put a spider in that empty compartment. Because when you fill that shelf, you also can obtain those bonus items. So for each spider equals a bonus item of your choice. Um, your main goal when you're placing books, like I said, is to fill the shelves. And when Anthony and I did our practice game, he dominated because he focused more on 
filling the shelves. I focus more on getting the objectives and um, doing the other scoring goal, which is if you match books of your color. So I'm pink, he's green. For each books, they have to be adjacent. So like if I had three pinks, that would be three points. For every sets, every set of the books in your color that are adjacent, they could be, they can't be diagonal, but they can be on top of each other, left and right. So if they're touching, you score that whole area that are touching the points per number of books in that set. So if I had three sets of three, that would be nine points. But as you can see, these are only uh, like four to 10 points. These, um, getting your books and sets is one point per book. And they're kind of harder to, it's hard to do that because you have to get the right colors at the right time, be able to set them in the right. It's a little harder where it's just filling the shelves. It doesn't matter what color or what sequence, you're just filling up that shelf. And these are like six points, seven points, three points. So you can see how that would add up a lot quicker. Another thing about um, getting the objectives, not only do you have to fulfill the pattern, a lot of them you have to have, will you show them those cards? You have to have them in a specific compartment, as you could see in the upper right. So that would be, I believe, in this compartment right here, or in a certain sequence. On this one, you only get six points, but you would need one, two, three, four, eight books in those particular locations on your bookshelf. Um, on these, this one's eight points, but you have to get every book the exact same color, the exact same order as shown, and you get eight points. So you can see how that would be a little bit more difficult. You should definitely go for the objectives. I'm not saying don't go for them, but you kind of have to balance between filling the shelves and doing the objectives and doing your uh, color bonuses if you can. And the only way to get the objectives, once you've actually completed the pattern, you also have to have a magic wand to place on top of the card to claim it. Um, once you claim it, at the end of the round, there's four rounds, or four phases per round. There's five rounds in, so we could do, let me say that again, we do two phases. Phase A, phase, phase B. There's five turns in each phase. Within each phase, you do four actions. So your first action is we were, are dealt, in the beginning, we're each dealt six cards. And basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna choose one to play, put it face down, and then in a normal game with more than two players, you would pass, you go by, see this says pass to the right. That's a, what that means. You would pass your the remaining deck to the right of you. When you're in phase B, you see how it's going to the left? You would pass the cards to your left. But in a two-player game, there's only two of us. I haven't really picked my cards. <laughs> but, but we would just give the cards to each other. I didn't want to change it. And then, and then at, oh, when we're both ready, we simultaneously flip it up. And then I'll show you a different card. So say we're flipping up our cards. So in a three or player or more game, the left, so the person who played the card gets the items in the yellow box. The person to the left, so the person who played the card, I, this is my card, I would get the items in this, in this section. So when you're choosing your card, you're gonna choose the items you want in that section. The sections up here in a standard game, the grayish green box goes to the player to the left of you. The blue box goes to the player to the right of you. They get those bonus items and vice versa. In a two player game, he gets both of these items and I get both of the items on his. Um, so you're still getting two bonus items. It's just, that's the variant of a two player game. Um, so, and that's the first action. The sex, second action is then resolving what's on your cards by collecting your items. Um, I'll tell you what these symbols mean in a minute. Um, but you're resolving your cards, playing your, um, 
you're filling your shelves, collecting your items. Then you're going to score, score um, if you got any objectives or if you got any scores on these, you would score. And the way you keep score, these are student tokens that match our color. They start on zero and you just go around the board and the person with the highest score at the end of the game wins. So say we were at the end of the round, I've played my magic wand on this objective card. So that means I get to score six points for that objective. You lose that magic wand, you remove this card, slide these down, and put another one out. And we can both score on the same objective. As long as you have a magic wand, you're able to do that, but they go back to the general supply. You can obtain magic wands. They're on the cards, like right there. That is a magic wand you can get. And this one, this symbol is reshelving. And however many number of books it's showing is how many you can reshelve. So that one's showing two books can be reshelved and a magic wand is what I would get. Anthony would get a green book of, and a bonus token. And I didn't show you the bonus tokens. They're all in this little blue bag. And you just, they have various, they're double-sided, so you get to choose which side you want. So this side would be two books, one pink, one green. The other side is a candle. You just choose which side you want to um, redeem. This one is reshelving of four books. That could be, can you show them? My, no. my arms are so short. That one um, is four books you can reshelve, reshuffle around on your shelf. That could be really beneficial. The other side is a candle. That's a magic wand. What's the other side of that one? A candle. They're all oh, candles. Are they all candles on the back? Yeah. So oh, okay. So it's always a candle or one of those items. And then, of course, there's this gray one is a book of any color. This is a side shelf. Yeah, it's And I think that is all of them. So as you can see, the bonus tokens are also very helpful. So um, then the last phase of your turn is cleanup, which is what I showed you. You remove any uh, cards that were claimed as objectives and replace them. And then you start over. And this happens for five turns in phase A, five turns in phase B. You're dealt six cards. So we're gonna be doing this for six turns. So say we played on your fifth turn, you'll be down to two cards. So what you do, you don't pass the hand at that point. Basically, you would discard one of them and keep the other one to play. That's how you keep up with your five rounds and that's how you keep it somewhat um, a mystery because you know you're passing the cards back and forth. They're, they know what you may have chosen but they're not going to know exactly what you kept because you had two cards to choose from. So and I think is that it? I think I covered everything right? Yeah it's everything. I mean it's a very easy game to learn and of course we will be showing you how to how to play the whole time. But the main thing is if you don't have any magic wands, you can't claim any objectives. So you kind of want to keep getting those if you can. So let me just decide which card I want to keep. Okay, pass him the hand. Okay. Wow, lots of magic wands. Wow, you get three. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. So Anthony gave himself two, and I gave himself one, but I get one, so he's pretty set on the magic wands. But I also get a bonus token. And at this point, books are important. So I get a pink book and a brown book. And then when you use the bonus tokens, they just go outside of the bag for now. If you run out of tokens, which is very unlikely, you would just shuffle them back in. Okay, I also get another bonus token that he gave me. Two more books. It's a good start. I get two purple books. And I get a green and a brown book. Wow, look at all these books I started out with. I could fill a shelf right now if I wanted. 
So Anthony got a magic wand, a pink book, and an aqua blue book, and his two wands. Okay, so now you decide where you want to place these, your items. Okay, so let's see. So what does that mean? It could be either or, right? Either of those sections, it looks like. So I could technically, I could finish that objective right now. And as you can see, I will obtain four points and a magic wand for completing that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my wand there. As you can see, it needs brown, purple, and green. I thought and I it could be, be on either of these sections. I thought it had to be in the blue, not the gray. No, it's the gray. They're telling you which section. Okay, so I've completed one objective right away, and you can just move those spiders around. Um, okay, so there's some easy easy objectives out. It's too bad I don't have a... If this was aqua blue instead of pink, I could actually do two objectives. But what I'm going to do is fill my shelf... So, I'm just going to put the brown book there. I get to redeem my spider. So, I'm going to redeem it for a magic wand. And I need to place these last two books. So, remember my color is pink, so I kind of want to leave that open. And I'm going to put this here just in case I get those two. Actually, Torn. I could put this there and try to get that objective, but I would rather do this and fill my spider. Um, I placed all my books. Was I right? Mm -hmm. all right. Okay, so Anthony didn't claim any objectives, so my magic wand goes to the general supply, but... I get another wand back for that objective, so those are pretty good. I moved four points. I get I scored four points for the objective. You just put this over in a discard. Actually, remember you slide them down. Oh, yeah. I don't see what it matters, but um, and we have a new objective. That was the cleanup phase. Now we start over. Discard those. Okay, so I get the aqua and the brown, and the reason I'm going to go ahead and complete, oh wait, I'm, oh, never mind, I just saw that was on a different shelf. So actually I cannot complete that, unless I happen to get a purple book with my bonus token. But I got the side shelf or a candle, so I'm going to take that side shelf because those come in handy. So I got a bonus token, a aqua blue, aqua blue, brown. Anthony got any book of his choice, a green, a green, and a brown. So let's see. This here. So he claimed that one, so it's, there's no way I can get that one anyway. So.
Yeah, so Anthony well. got four, and he got a magic wand for completing that objective. Scoot these down. Put another objective card down. And now we look at our hand to see what we'd like. I already messed up, but that's okay. Yeah, this is a fairly quick game. I get three purple. You get three? Mm -hmm. And a book of my choice. So. I get one pink and then a book of my choice. I'm going to get the awkward green. Oh, and I completed my spider. So I'm going to get bonus token. Or actually, yeah, bonus token. So, so any. One of my choice. Yeah, pick my choice. Purple. And I completed another spider. So I am going to get another bonus token. A magic wand or a candle. I'm going to do the candle. This one's worth the most points. The I didn't point that out. The candles, you can see these square boxes. That's the candle points. They go on top of your bookshelves. So that one's the most highest point value right now is the one on your side shelves for four points. Yep. Okay, so we have two more turns for this phase. Oh, I put the purple in the wrong one. There. It's easy to do that. I did the same thing. String. Oh, it's from that bag. Alright, right. Okay. Okay, so I get a magic wand. And I get to reshelve two books, which is going to be helpful because I messed up on this pattern. I'm going to switch this book with this book. Oh, dang. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it's that shelf. You have it on the wrong shelf? Yeah. Yep. I did the same thing and then I did the wrong um, sequence. <laughs> so, purple, yeah, that looks like a green book. Leaning. Just one of those. Okay. Let's obtain this. Yeah, you really have to pay attention to which shelf you need to do do the um, objections on. Like this one's on any side shelf. I got two spiders. Did you do your two points? Yeah, I did my two points. Oh, you redeemed two spiders? Yep. Now I need to put one in here. Oh, I forgot to do that. You gotta remember to put those spiders in your side shelves. Oh, good. I got another one of these. Okay. 
and put a spider on it. Okay, so these two spiders, we got a black one and this one. So Anthony redeemed his spiders for books. You done with these? Uh, yes. Alright. Okay, and I claim my objective, so I get six points. Ten. So Anthony has his max amount of side shelves. I can still get one more. After that, um, we can't get any more side shelves. So we're on the last hand of this phase because there's two cards left. Um, so we choose one and discard the other one. I get a pink and purple. And then I get another pink and aqua blue. Okay, so. Oh, cool. Awesome, that helped me do an objective. So I get the cool blue. And the new colors. And if there's no shelf on them, you can do them anywhere. It doesn't matter. And the side shelves are worth more points than the other things I've noticed. So, okay, so are you done? Mm -hmm. So I claim my objective. Seven points. I think she might beat me this one. Well, I saw what strategy you did. And so <laughs> okay, so now we're in phase B. In a standard game, you would be passing to the left, but in a two player game, it doesn't really matter. So five more hands and the game is over. I get a green book and I get to reshelve three books. I get to reshelve four. I get a purple and it can be a bonus token. Can you hand me the little bag when you're. Here you go. Ooh, get two more books or three. a candle. I'm going to do the two books. I get a green and a purple. And first, I'm going to reshelve my books. So, I'm going to do these three. And I'm going to put eight. Okay. And let's see if there's any patterns I can do now that I've got some books. Okay. 
does it look like it? I'm just going to fill these shelves. And look at the token. Okay. So Anthony completed this objective. Oh wait, I forgot you can't. I can still. I didn't do this. Oh. I forgot about that. Sorry. Are you gonna reshelve the two? Yeah, I'm gonna reshelve two. And this here actually gives me another one. I got to reshelve two. So. This counts as two, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So he gets 16 points there for those two objectives. That's a good one. 22. Oh, you think you might beat me. Well, I got lucky on the cards. Mm -hmm. I, mine are, were nowhere near the sequences. It wasn't worth even trying to maneuver that. So this one, all you need is any color books in that in these shelves. So I only need one, five books to fill those, and I could get that one. Okay, so we look at our cards. Token. Yeah, I need Ooh, two books. I got the five books I needed. Ooh, a wild. I'm going to see if I need it first. Anthony can reshelf four. One, two.
And let's see if it's worth getting this wild. Oh, you don't have to redeem the bonus tokens if you don't want the book or, or whatever. I, so you don't have to redeem them. All right. Okay, so just got those. Oh, wait, I forgot. We forgot to do the cleanup phase. So I get seven points. 25. I like it when you already have them. I'm doing a cold move here. I'm gonna do the switcheroo to get that one. So I can switch two books. Yeah, do the same thing. Oh, sorry. I need to... Yep. And I already have that one. So that was pretty convenient. Okay. And I'm out of wands, so that needs to be my next objective to get Ooh. some wands. I also get a, can you hand me the token bag? And Anthony gave me four more sh shuffles if I want. Three. I'll go ahead and take these two green books. Gonna fill up this shelf. I get to redeem my spider. I'm gonna take a magic wand. Um, and at this point, I, that's the only place I can put that. I almost have all my shelves full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so now it's cleanup phase. We each get 12 points. 34. Wow, you got both of the same ones? Yep. Yeah. Did you have it on the bottom? You didn't have it on the right shelf. Oh. Yeah, you have to pay attention. Some of them have to be on the exact same shelf. So I need 12. You didn't need me, so I'm at 37. I didn't see that at all. Is that my hair? Mm -hmm. Okay. And... My, sorry, my sleeves keep knocking stuff around. Okay, so we're done with these. Mm -hmm. So we have two more rounds on this in this hand. I get a magic wand. Oh, and I can do two reshuffles. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna switch this guy around. Two points. And I can do one more. Actually, that was two books. So um, completed that one. And I get a magic wand for completing it. Okay, and then I get any book. I could get any book to place in this shelf, but since that shelf is full, I don't get that book. So you only get the book if you can place it in that shelf. So I only get one book. So I'm just going to see if I can get lucky. Let me look at all these sequences and see if I have them by some luck. It's close to a way. Okay. 
but I wouldn't be able to change these because these are on top of them. You can't change them if they have them on top of them. Okay, so no. So I get four points. And we are on our last round. Did I take, oh, I didn't, I didn't do, finish the cleanup phase. So we discard the last one. And here we go. I think I got unlucky with my last card. Two books and an aqua book. So I have three books to work four. with. Don't have any resh Oh, I do have two reshuffles. So this one is the only one I can really work with, possibly. No, I can't do it. So I just need to try to fill my bookshelf, which I can't. I need one so I book four. to fill my shelf. Or what? Reshuffles? Mm -hmm. So I've, that's pretty awesome. I filled up all my shelves except for one. Too bad it's the most highest point one. But if I had got one more book, I could completely fill my shelves. That would have been pretty awesome. Oh, and I didn't tell you, you get one point for each unused magic wand. So it's kind of smart of Anthony to get those two magic wands. Did you grab them already? Yeah. Because they'll give him one point each. Well, actually, yeah, I already grabbed that. Count them. Okay. So now we score our points. He needs to score his objective first. Oh. Okay. Okay, so... Um, the magic wands, I have two left. I have three. He had three. Okay. I had, for my candle, four points. Four, eight, eleven. Wow. So Anthony leaped ahead of me there with his candles. Then we just score, um, we'll score the colors. I only have two pink books that are in sequence, so that's two points. And then? So he didn't have any greens. And now we sked, we just score our full shelves. So this one's full. I have six, eight, 10, 13, 19. If I would gotten one more book, I would have got that seven more points. But 19 plus 49 is, isn't that 68? Sixty-eight, and then um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. So sixty to sixty-eight, which is about the point spread we had last yeah. time. Fifty-eight when you won. to sixty-eight, or fifty-eight to sixty-eight. That was about the similar point spread. Yeah, ten. And I won the same way Anthony won last time. I filled my shelves, and I did get objectives. Filling the shell seems to be the way to go. <laughs> so she used my strategy against me. <laughs> and you used my strategy. You were doing, you were playing the way I was last yeah. time. Because you, you got a lot of objectives. So it's, and I got a ton of tokens this time. The tokens really helped too, because you could see all these free books I got. That's yeah, what I'm, helps. See, I was getting lucky with the books. I kept getting the, the wand and the, yeah. so. But this is a really fun game. Very easy, quick. Um, definitely, we're going to play this with Quentin. He would love this game. Oh, yeah. So if you like um, this type of game, I guess you would call it like a point salad puzzle, yeah. kind of a puzzle game um, where, you're, where you're forming little um, configurations of colors. It's, we love that. Well, we love these type yeah, of games. This this type of game right here, this one is, um, in particular, very relaxing for some reason. Mm -hmm. I find myself relaxed when I play. 
Yeah, it's not stressful. I mean, I know we like the take back games. We love yeah. or take that, not take back, take that games. But um, yeah, this is a really fun game. So you should definitely check it out. We'll put the the link in the product description. I think this just came out last year and it was a lot of top 10 lists for people. So definitely you should check this one out. Um, don't we have one copy of this we're giving away? Yeah. We will be giving a copy of this away at our Christmas giveaway. The company was nice enough to send us a second copy. So um, that will be going, we've now up to 12. Yeah, I think so. We're up to 12 games. Plus we'll be giving out a couple gift cards. It could be worldwide. Unfortunately, the games are only U.S. shipping because it's um, very high to ship that. But right now it's up to 14 days of giving, so <laughs> giveaway. So we're hoping to, um, we're still waiting for to hear back from a couple more game developers, but we're really excited. It's going to be our huge, biggest giveaway that we've yeah. done. Um, and we'll be doing it um, probably near the end of December or beginning, or end of November, beginning of December, depending on how many days of giveaways we have. So very exciting. Keep checking our website um, for more information on that at boardgameempire.co, not com, dot co. Um, and of course in our giveaways we have going now on our contest page we have two I would just bookmark that page and come back at least you know once a week and um, but these our giveaways are daily entry but you'd want to at least come back once a week so you could see what giveaways we add so um, thank you for watching we look forward to seeing you next time anything yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say <laughs> see you next time